stating that a point capital A is in the first situated in the first quadrant. So he directly gave the point A is in the first quadrant and its shortest distance from the intersection point of HP and the auxiliary planes is 60 mm. Okay, so the intersection at the the shortest distance is 60 mm, and the and the point is equidistant from principal planes. Principal planes are nothing but the HP and as well as the VP. So draw the projections of the point and determine its distance distances from the principal planes. Right. So let us consider as we said the point belongs to first quadrant. Okay. So first quadrant in the sense let us keep it over here. Point capital P. And the point is equally in distance. So this is going to be x mm, and this distance is going to be x mm. And the point is at a distance of 60 mm, which is the shortest distance from the intersection point of HP, VP, and auxiliary plane. So this is HP, and this is VP, and auxiliary plane is now nothing but a middle plane. Both, all the three are intersecting at xy reference line. So the shortest distance from xy reference line to the point P is going to be. 60 mm okay so now if we see the front view and the top view we are going to get p dash here and this is going to be x mm and if i see the top view here we are going to get small p and this is going to be x mm again we have a right angle triangle over here okay so let us consider the right angle triangle this is 60 x and x Okay, so 60 square is equal to x square plus x square. So x is equal to root over 1800. That is, this is 3600, and this is 2x square. So 2 divide 3600 divided by 2 is nothing but okay, is uh, 1800. So root over 1800. 1800 is nothing but 900 into 2. So root 900 is nothing but 30. 30 root 2. Root 2 value is 1.4. So here the value is going to be uh, here the 41. I, I mean, I don't know, not exactly, but almost 41. Here it might be in the previous question. It is going to be almost like 38 or 37. Let us consider it as 37. So in the previous one, let us consider it as 37. Not exactly, not wrong. We have to calculate. So we got the distances now. Now let us draw the xy reference line. Okay. So now on the vertical plane we have p dash that is above xy xmm xmm is nothing but 41. So above xy p dash 41 mm. And on rotating this particular part downwards, p is going to come downwards. So here we are going to have small p which is at a distance of same 41 mm right guys i hope everyone understood so